Hello everybody and welcome back to NBA Cinema. Well, the Golden State Warriors have won eight out of the last 10 games and you know, this comes on the heels of one of their assistant coaches actually passing uh, last month. And Richard Jefferson made some interesting comments during uh, the call of the game where he kind of eluded that maybe the Warriors uh, you know, needed this type of tragedy to refocus and lock in. And if I'm that, you know, that, you know, the coach's family, uh, that, that's not something I want to hear. I couldn't even believe he said it. Take a listen here at uh, what Richard Jefferson actually said. Supporting his family in this very, very difficult time. And you've seen the shirts. You've seen, obviously, the logo here on the court. These are things that obviously can be devastating to the group that it was, but also on the flip side of it, it could be something that brings this group together, something that they might have needed at that moment. Can you have considered? Now, it's one thing if he meant to say, you know, they're, the Warriors are going to play for, you know, their coach, Dijon, that actually passed, um, you know, kind of galvanized and try to do this for him. That's one thing. The thing that was very cringe to me was the comments of this is something that they needed. Now, I don't believe based on just the personality that Richard Jefferson shows on TV, that he was being, dis you know, intentionally disrespectful on any level, obviously. But I'm thinking about it from the family standpoint, hearing, you know, we're talking about a game and the success of a team on a basketball court and something that they needed to refocus was that my family member, friend, whether that's brother, son, whatever, you know, suddenly died of a heart attack and now they can refocus. That came off extremely insensitive on Richard Jefferson's behalf. And um, I just, that, that kind of caught me off guard there. Now, Steve Kerr actually spoke in regards to, cause he, you know, Kerr actually went to the funeral. He, he flew to Serbia. He had another one of his assistant coaches kind of coaching while he was out. Um, and this is what uh, he had to say as it relates to uh, the coach Dijon. Steve, uh, condolences first of all, obviously. Um, what was this, can you just explain what this last week was like for you and the team, just emotionally, everything. Such an unusual week, obviously. Hard to, hard to describe the week. Um, heartbreaking, devastating. Um, you know, it's it's a, it's it's just the saddest thing I've ever been a part of in the NBA. You know, um, where um, you know we lose uh, someone who's so close to us, um, and then um, more importantly. Um, seeing his family suffer, um, you know, so this last week has been, last five days, I guess, has been full of all of the above, the shock, the emotion, um, the um, extreme outpouring of love from all over the world. I don't know if any of you saw, we watched as a team this morning, the, um, the event that they had in Serbia, you know, Decky's two teams were playing against each other. Um, it just happened to be on the schedule tonight. Uh, Mega, the team he coached versus Partizan on the team he starred for. And um, I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like uh, the pregame uh, dedication uh, from the fans and the organizations there to, to Decky. It was um, incredible. We watched it as a team and, and so I think we got a better sense of just what Decky meant to his countrymen. Um, of course, how much he meant to us um, and to Natasha and Masha and Nicola. Um, you know, it's been just a, a devastating week. How is the organization?